guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Sports Nerd. Today, we're going to be talking about the biggest Major League Baseball draft busts of all time. Let's take it straight to the action. Guys, after that intro, anyway, the first guy we're going to be talking about that was a big draft bust is Mr. Sean Abner. Mr. Sean Abner here was drafted first overall pick in 1984 for the New York Mets and came straight from high school because he was considered a star prospect. To be considered that straight from high school as a sophomore is very good. But the problem is, he could barely get to the MLB, causing him to be traded to the Padres in just 1986. In his second year, believe it or not, that just sets a table for what you're going to see from the other two guys we're going to talk about. Like, this is probably the, the, I guess the best story. I don't, I don't know if you'd call it that, but I guess the best story you're going to hear. I mean, it, that's just what you're hearing so far. He's in his junior, he's going into his junior season, and he's put in as a reserve for a team that he wasn't even drafted by. So, you know, he can never really make it up to the big leagues. He later played for the Angels, White Sox, and Royals, so he played for five teams, a bit of a traveler. And only played for nine years. Five teams in nine years. There it is again, just setting the table for the other two guys. And this is the best story. Anyway, in, I said he only played for nine years. And in 1993, he retired from baseball entirely because of injuring his knee. So... Sad story to start us off, and they're only going to get sadder. Okay, guys, now for our second victim of possibly being the worst draft bust ever in my mind, we're going to look at Matt Bush. He was the number one overall pick in 2004 by his hometown team, the San Diego Padres. He also came straight from high school, a similarity with Mr. Sean Abner. I keep on pronouncing his name differently, but whatever. He actually started as a shortstop in high school, being a big star there, but then converted to pitcher because of failing in all levels of the minor leagues, which does say some ouch. And... Then his career went crazy. After some altercations, he uh, was traded to the Blue Jays in 08, then went to free agency in 09, signed in 2010 with the Rays, and then went into something we'll talk about in a second. So then he did a 2015 minor league deal with the Blue Jays and had a nice relieving year in 2016. That was the last time we saw him. So now what we were talking about is that his career took many pauses, including Tommy John surgery in 2007, which that isn't good. If you don't know what Tommy John surgery is, it's um when you keep on throwing the ball too hard for yourself and you literally tear, you just literally man made basically tear up your elbow. But then, after he uh, set out the entire 2008 season to get that elbow back to normal, he did a nice 2009 season with the Rays, as we, as we already went over. A nice 2010 season, but actually spent 2009 in free agency. I spoke wrong. But then, right in the middle of the season, he drunkenly ran over an elderly man and was sentenced to a 51-month, or four-year, three-month jail sentence. 
ouch. I mean, that I means it's not great. So that's why from 2010 to 2015 was a huge gap. He, did, he was not on the Rays for that long. But after all that, he was still called by many the biggest draft bust of all time. But not me. This guy is. Oh! Thanks there. So, uh, I guess we're talking about who I think is the worst draft bust in MLB history. And, drum roll please. The answer to that question is Mr. Drew Henson. You may have heard a little bell go off in your head. If you are a original Cowboys fan, and Cowboys fan for life for a while, that's because he is remembered most as a Dallas Cowboys QB, believe it or not. And we're going to be talking about his baseball stuff here. Anyway, he was drafted third round, 97th pick, by the New York Yankees in 19. 98. You might be thinking, well, sports nerd, he was drafted in the third round. It must be a horrible ride that he took. Well, I think it was. Here's why. He got a six-year, $17 million contract. That's $2.83 million a year. Back then, that's a lot for a rookie. Because we're talking 1998 here, folks. And it definitely gave that third baseman some hype. He, matter of fact, he hit 300 with the Yankees double A affiliate. But yet, he was traded to the Cincinnati Reds for a guy named Denny Neagle. I've never heard of him either. I had to look him up. I mean, but he. Find his way back to the Yankees in 2001. So, that's a bit of a happy story. But, then this is where it goes downhill. He struggled in the AAA. Because he was weirded out by the Reds. AA and AAA system. So, now he goes back to the Yankees. And then, in 2001... Thanks to an injury to Aaron Boone, your old third baseman. He got to play nine Major League Baseball games. Problem is, he only got a single hit. One. Uno. Then, while well, he went back down to the AAA for a few years... Kept on struggling, and then retired in 2004 to go be that Dallas Cowboys quarterback that a bunch of people know him better for. Guys, I'm sports nerd. Come back on the 8th of December for a nice little football video. Don't know what it's about yet because I always come up with those things on the day of the video. Or my friends come up with it way before the Anyway, if I see you in the next one, I'll say peace.